Hey everyone, Prof. John Kay here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the value of complete information. When you're faced with a decision with uh, some uncertainty, not having all the information will often lead you to make a wrong decision or a decision that isn't optimal. In this example, we're talking about a Christmas tree uh, business and we're trying to decide whether we need to order 30 trees for the upcoming season or 45. We don't know how many trees we're going to sell. Those are the two possibilities, 30 or 45. Each one has an equal probability, so a probability of 50%. And you're told that if we order only 30 trees, then we're going to make a $900 profit regardless of how much demand there is. But if we order 45 and only 30 trees are demanded, then we're going to end up losing a bit of money for uh, you know on waste and the profit would only be 600. If we order 45 trees and 45 trees are demanded, best case scenario, our profit would be 1350. Now the big problem is we don't know how much the demand will be. That is the information that we're missing. So to figure out the value of the complete information, the first thing you want to figure out is, um, well, what are the expected returns? So if I were to order 30 trees, then I'm going to make $900 regardless, right? So that's certain. I'm going to make $900 of, uh, of expected return. I'll put expected return here. Now if I order 45 trees, there's a 50% chance that I only make $600 and a 50% chance that I make 1350. Again, that's because there's a 50% chance that there's demand for 30 trees, in which case I'd make 600. There's 50% chance that there's demand for 45 trees, in which case I would make 1350. So this is 975. So without having the complete information, the only thing you can do is base yourself on the expected return. So we would probably order 45 trees since the expected return is higher. Now, what if we were able to know for sure how much demand there would be? Then we would know exactly how many trees to order. The expected return in that case would be 50% times 900 plus 50% times 1350, and I'll, I'll explain why. If we know that only 30 trees will be demanded, then we'll only order 30 trees. If we know that 45 trees will be demanded, then we'll order 45 trees. So by knowing exactly what the demand will be, we're removing the uncertainty. So there's a 50% chance that we make $900 if we order 30 trees. There's a 50% chance that we make $1,350 if we order 45. That is an expected return of 1125. Now look at the difference. Without having the information, our expected return is 975. With the information, our expected return goes up to 1125. The difference between these two is the value of having that information. That information, right, knowing how many trees we're going to sell, increases our expected return by $150. So there it is, calculating the value of uh, you know, perfect information or complete information is really not that complex. You just have to know the steps. Uh, I really hope that helps. If you liked it, subscribe, comment, like, and uh, I'll try and make more of these uh, 